My crew and I are on a tributary of the Amazon River. You saw a Cayman right here? Here, 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 Cayman, 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 I see it right there, right there. And it looks like we have just spotted a Rio Apoporus Cayman. Holy shit, that is freaking incredible. That's a Rio Apoporus Cayman. That is the only Cayman on Earth that has that long, narrow, slender snout, that super narrow bridge. You can clearly see its light yellow hide, a telltale sign of a Rio Apoporus Cayman. I cannot believe this. We're literally sitting here looking at an animal that the world has not seen for 35 years. <laughs> it's so amazing. Oh my God, I cannot believe it. I'm feeling so over the top. We've traveled all this way to find this guy, and now, He's just beyond my reach. I can't noose him when he's that far up on the bank. It's definitely on to us. If I get in, it's I think it's more important to get the shot than I can expect. So for now, we're getting video proof. This footage is significant evidence. The real Aphiporus caiman is not extinct. But the thing that I have to do is capture DNA evidence. I have to collect a specimen in order to get funding to preserve and protect the species. And the only way to get a tissue sample is to actually capture one. So that's what we have to focus on. We know they're here. We know he lives right in this region. Now we have to try and catch him. The sunlight is very helpful for getting clear, definitive footage. But footage can still be disputed. So my ultimate goal is indisputable DNA proof. And if I want to get close enough for that, we need to come back here under the cover of night. It's so unbelievable to think that we're trying to catch an extinct animal. It's not good enough that we've seen one. We're trying to catch one, which is just, I mean, it's just bonkers. But as a scientist, I can respect it. You know, proof is proof, and hard physical evidence is hard physical evidence, and that's what we're here to catch. Oh, there's a caiman up on the bank right there. Sure enough, back at the same spot. Between this guy and whatever triggered our snare, I'm starting to think we may have a small community of caiman surviving here. Look at that. There's a real Apoporus caiman sitting right on the bank right there. Look at that elongated snout and that super characteristic light yellow coloration. Oh, that's a big one. Yeah, that's a big one. That's a big one. And we've just spotted another caiman in the water. Right ahead. This is a big one, Johnny. You ready? I need you ready. We're getting close. Just get close, Johnny, now. This may be the largest specimen we've seen yet. Oh, Johnny, I got him! We're on. Oh my God, big, big Rio Apoporus came in, Johnny. <laughs> Look at this! As a trained herpetologist, I've been noosing crocodilians for over 20 years. There's no chance of harm, since the flesh just behind the skull is more than tough enough for my rope. Ah, all right, I gotta release. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that incredible snout. Look at that unusual jaw morphology. That is something that's never been seen in a caiman anywhere on Earth. Look at the length of that skull. That is just incredible. There we go. That's the sharp end. Now, as no information exists on this animal, nobody knows just how strong these jaws are, and I'm not willing to take any risks. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is get the noose off. It's loosened. All right, look at this. Now I can really see him. Oh, look at this animal. It's this extremely skinny, elongated snout, which no other caiman species has. That's what makes this real Apoporus caiman so unique. That and this brilliant light yellow coloration with this black dappling. This is the most incredible thing I have ever done. This is the most incredible experience. 
words cannot describe. This experience is going to change natural history as we know it for crocodilians. But in order to do that, we need to secure a genetic sample. All I'm gonna do is take a very small clipping from his tail. It's like a fingernail. You can see they lose pieces of their tail, fights all the time. So all I have to do is grab a little nub like that. You can see no blood, nothing. He doesn't even twitch, doesn't even feel it. And this right here, ladies and gentlemen, this might be the most important piece of genetic material in crocodilian history. All I have to do is put it right in there, get that securely home to the United States, and proof of the ongoing existence of the Rio Apoporus Cayman is right here in my hand. We've done it. This is what I've come here for. This is the most incredible experience of my life. I'm speechless. It's just so amazing. Let's set this beautiful animal free to make lots more babies and bring them back from the edge of extinction. Okay, baby. Here we go. Ugh. Time to send you home on your way. You can see he's just recharging right now. He's cooling down. He's just going to slide in back to the incredible Amazon jungle that he came from. And just like that, the Rio Apoporus came and is no longer extinct. <laughs> yes! 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 To secure a broader genetic sample, we're spending the last two days of our expedition catching and collecting DNA from over a half dozen juvenile Rio Apoporus, proving that we've discovered a healthy breeding population. Mm -hmm.